Welcome to the bad boy pod, talking bad boy bars, make a good girl nuts with the bad boy swag. Having conversations at a bad boy mad, sit down, relax, kick back, have a blast, enjoy the bad boy pod, brought to you by Lady Pods. You know, in like sitcoms when the actress is pregnant and they have to um, do wacky shit to obscure the baby bump. I didn't think that was, I didn't know that was the thing. Oh, that's a huge thing. We're like, oh, baby bump, baby bump, a little hiding. Yeah. Like on Scandal. We're recording, by the way. Oh, I didn't know. Here we are. On Scandal. um, Did you ever watch Scandal? No. Um, there was like a period of time where Carrie Washington was pregnant and she literally was wearing the biggest coats. Like every episode she was wearing a new giant trench coat. I mean, you always like hear about it, but I never guess I took it seriously. I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They'll be like I carrying boxes or like just like it's so funny wearing their uh, backpack on the front. Like they're they're just doing like wacky shit. That is hilarious. It's I like love that. And thank God now we have AI. Just kidding. But I feel like that's what I was doing to obscure the fact that my pants are unzipped. Listen, she was doing that, but her pants are unzipped. My pants are unzipped. I mentioned last week none of my pants fit, and you know what? It's still this week. This week, it's still last week, and still, I haven't lost a wild amount of weight in the last 12 minutes, so my pants are good. Yeah, that would have been worrisome. Yeah, it would have been like, do you have special diarrhea? I do. My name is Julia Davidovich, and my diarrhea, Hmm? extremely special. Hmm. My name is Zoe Clare, and my diarrhea? Yeah. Just, you're running the mill- Runs. Basic kind of like, yeah, runs. A little runny. Run of the mill nothing runs. Nothing too nuts. No. Yeah, nothing that I'm like calling my mom over. Like I'm scared. Oh, you don't call your mom every time you take a weird poop? Not unless I'm really scared, I guess. Oh, you have? Um, no. Okay. No, honestly, I haven't. Amazing. Yeah, she's not really my first poop call. <laughs> I don't know who is. I guess you. Yeah. Well, I that's guess good. we're each other's poop call. Yeah, I guess we are. I wish there was like a tag for that in Facebook or Facebook. What am I saying? My phone. Your phone. Like you have in like, case of emergency. Yeah. And then you have to have like in case of weird poop. Yeah. And yeah. I, be, I was on the like ground and I'm like, please call my weird poop contact. Diane will just She'll post about it on do. Facebook. <laughs> she would. My name is Diane. And honestly, I'll just post about it on Facebook. Yeah. She doesn't have a poop. I'll uh, post about your shit. She doesn't have an in case of weird poop. It's just the world. She just broadcasts it to whoever wants to hear it. Yeah. And wow, I really just blew into my own drink laughing. Oh, perfect. Um, oh, I wanted to give this bad boy update. Oh, mm-hmm. wait, no, you had a sneaky bad boy. Oh, my God, I did. I forgot about my whole bad boy where I literally broke my suitcase on the way to the airport. What? Yeah. And um, it was great. I like the handle just flew, like the literal handle flew off. Did I not tell you this? I must have been telling no, you. No, you didn't tell me this. It flew off. Oh, my God. I'm like covered in... Um, What's it called now? Bruises now. I'm like, I literally look battered because... Oh, shit. Do you see all my bruises? Wait, that's from the suitcase? Yeah, well, it's like convenience because I I had so much stuff to bring back that I like got a duffel from my parents' house and I like carried a really heavy duffel and I was like carrying it. You can tell where I was carrying it up my arm. Yeah. (laughs) Because it's like... And then I got a super bruise down here. And then I had to like drag my bag without an actual like, you know, like the extendable handle? Yeah. The po- the tarp the top part of it popped off. Oh, as I was like going. So to it's the... just like two sticks. Yeah, it's two sticks. I I threw out my suitcase. I was like, this has been a twenty year run. My, you need to That's go. Pretty solid. Yeah. Was well, it the kind of rolly that had two wheels or four wheels? Four wheels. Okay. It's just not three sixty, which is like for the best. I really need to upgrade. Yeah, it's time. I mean, I have like a four wheelie three sixty for my. Big boy? No, for like my carry on, but okay. not for my big boy. See, I have a big boy, say. but my carry on is a four wheel. Four wheel deal? It's a four wheel deal, but it's not. And it, maybe it does 360, but it's like a shitty 360. Wow. It's more of like a whatever the hell. It's a Jessica is. Simpson. I really forget. Remember? Oh, no, I don't. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I what got a it? Jessica Simpson brand. Um, oh, that's suitcase. what you're saying. Really okay. Suitcase. I thought you meant like she had like a song or something called 360. I'm like, I don't know what the song is. I mean, that could have been a name. <laughs> Does she still like, making music? Email My Diane. love is 360. I don't know. Is Email she, Diane. <laughs> do you think she's been on Mass Singer? Oh, wow. Her or Ashley? Oh. Where are you going? Julia literally just mid conversation just stood up and st- walked away. Like we were having a deep conversation about Ashley Simpson. Okay, she got coffee on her shirt, so she needed to get a tide stick mid convo without even letting me know. 
I did not hear you say anything. Bitch. You literally just stood up. That's fine. Now I'm she's tied sticking her tit. It's the side of my tit. Well, looks like your tit to me. What do you want me to do? I want no. you to have a shirt stain. Oh my god. Sorry. Do you think the tide stick works? We're about to find out. Okay. I haven't used this shit in By the end of the podcast, we'll let you know whether years. or not the coffee stain came out of Julia's shirt. I have Jessica Simpson in my head. I look like I'm lactating. It's fine. That is a bad boy. It really is. It was so scary. I was like, what am I going to do? But then I just had to drag it by the fucking handle. It was the worst night. Of That's so my embarrassing. Life. By the time I got to LAX, it was like, oh, I want to actually jump in traffic. How do you... Because my Jessica Simpson, in order to put the handle down there's like a button on the thing across the top exactly so i i mean you could just actually shove them. oh you down. could shove them but yeah i just like at the other end like once i got off the oh so you know like the fucking shuttle situation oh the la exit kill me so you took the shuttle to get the uber yeah but i had to like drag my shit across there with my duffel and my Fuck. big bag and like one other little tiny tote with like you know, chips in it, obviously. And, um, and like, yeah, angrily get myself to the fucking shuttle. Nightmare. It was brutal. And then, oh my God, I th this is the most violent I feel like I've ever felt. I got my ass to the bathroom mm -hmm. before I left. Mm -hmm. And as I was like, just kind of like getting all my shit together. <sighs> by the sink or in the stall? By the sink. There's no one in there, by the way. All the fucking stall doors are open. Mm. This woman's just like, can I go? <laughs> to, like, to pee? Yeah. And the look I gave her was just like, huh? But it looked so angry. And then I saw myself in the mirror because my bangs were like nuts. And I looked nuts. I looked truly nuts. Um, and I want to say I'm not even sorry for like my reaction to yeah, that woman. Yeah, so if she's listening... I'm not sorry. Fuck you, bitch. Don't ask anybody if you can pee. This just, isn't fucking grade four. Just go pee. Go piss wherever go piss. you want. I'm not in line. I'm fondling my bags. Yeah. Like all 14 of She's them. She's in the, ball, the bag fondle portion of peeing at the airport. I'm at the... Yeah. Trust me. Honestly, all those stalls are so small. Like if you have a carry-on suitcase and a backpack, which is like usually that's how I'll travel. I'll have a carry-on suitcase, my Jessica Simpson... And I'll have a backpack. Her Jessica. So do you not check any bags ever? Not really. Okay. I mean, Usually unless I if have I'm doing to. work or if I'm going for longer than a week, I have to, I feel. Yeah. Longer than a week, it's tough. Next or like sometimes week. Jared and I will pack a um, a joint a joint checked bag. That's a nice thing, too. It's yeah. nice to only have to like have the one. And that is like our nicest suitcase. It's a big boy. It's huge. Like... I don't know why we got such a big one, but it definitely holds. It could hold both of our stuff for like 10 days easily. Hmm. That's um, a classic. I do like just being able to go and I hate when they fucking charge you. Yeah. But I also don't love waiting. I fucking despise waiting. But like when you're at the airport alone and you have to like bring your suitcase into the stall, like those stalls are so small. It's like really, uh, you know, the the game rush hour with the cars oh my god that's wow, how it feels about that in forever that's how I'll it put feels. in the slimer for sure oh for sure i wow. loved that game. rush hour adorable um that is exactly how it feels trying to like fun. turn around yeah you got to turn around Jesus you got to reverse Christ. the truck it's, it's like brutal. a whole fucking thing it's actually being an adult in an airport brutal Jeez, children you have it so easy um so quick bad boy update that i just saw when we were in between podcasts mm -hmm, mm -hmm. chris brown is reportedly being sued God, for two million dollars. Guess by who? Hmm. No idea. Popeye's Crocs. restaurant. Oh, wild! Because he said he was going to purchase two restaurants. Uh -oh. Um, and yeah, it says that he has been hit with a two million dollar lawsuit over an unpaid Popeye's chicken loan. Oh my! Can you imagine? They're owned by Burger King. Okay, right? he's been sued by a city national bank who city national bank who claims it loaned Brown money to acquire two Popeyes locations. I see. Okay, oh interesting. My God. So he borrowed two million and, just and never now did it? and now he's saying they owe two million one hundred forty thousand nine hundred one dollars and seventy four cents. That's a lot of money. Interest like is bad, but in this case, I'm fine with it. In this case, when it comes to Chris Brown having to pay interest, I guess it's okay. And when it comes to Chris Brown, pay $140,000 in interest. Yeah, why not? My name is National City Bank. National Bank. 
<laughs> Listen, I never want to work for City National Bank unless it's charging Chris Brown for yeah. unpaid interest um, on a Popeyes franchise. Popeyes, indeed. I like I like pun- put a little Popeyes. It's okay. tasty. Good for you. My name is Julia. My name is not Julia, um, but it's Zoe, and that's great for you. Okay. Um, you perfect. don't eat chicken. I don't eat chicken. Are you ever going to eat chicken again? Hot you she- know, hot button question. Hot button question. I would say it's likely that before I die, I will have chicken again. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Wow. Um, what would break you? What would break me? I don't know. Obviously my fr- not Popeyes. My oh no, not Popeyes. My friend Sophie. <laughs> my friend Sophie is convinced that I wouldn't be able to get through a pregnancy without eating meat. Really interesting. And she's like, "That's what happened to Phoebe on Friends." I'm like, "Well, I'm not Phoebe okay, but on that's Friends. Not real I'm life. a real person." Phoebe on Friends. Yeah, not a real person. Not a real person. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I don't know. I you know, like I was a vegetarian for when I was 13 to 21, and then I started eating meat Bright again. Alert. And then I ate meat until I was like 26, 27, and I stopped. So I wouldn't be surprised if I like. And when I'm on vacation, I eat meat. So I'll probably have chicken on vacation at least. When I was a child, um, the children that were vegans and veg and migrate were such anomalies. It was so wild to me. Mm -hmm. It's like not even cheese. You can't just have crackers and cheese. No, I eat a lot of cheese. Oh, I mean, yeah. But the vegans? Yeah. That really blew my mind. They don't eat cheese. Blew my mind as a child. Now I'm just like, I get it. You don't want anything fun. (laughs) Bye-bye. Yeah. No, I I fuck with cheese hard. Um, But I still prefer oat milk in my coffee. My name is... Yeah, and I like almond milk a lot. I don't, I just... You like almond, you prefer almond milk. Yeah. Fine. I really do. It's a little woody. I like it though. It I is really a little like woody. It. it has like a throat feel. Mm, I get it. Yeah. I get exactly what you mean by it. Yeah. But I still kind of like it. Yeah. I like that feeling. Okay, perfect. My name is Throat. Um. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Throaty Clar. My name is Throaty Clar indeed. So, f- part two Magoo... Moyle, moyle. Finally, not a pervert. We did three huge perverts in a row. (sighs) So it's nice to just do a cold hard bitch. I mean, yeah, kind of a kind of a bitch, kind of a random bitch, which is wild. Sort of a random bitch, but like she loves a good hand job. Ugh, do we all? (laughs) Not me. Anyway, (laughs) it's definitely a Mrs. Um, handy your handy Handy in the dark. Handy during Beetlejuice, your girl. One of the most embarrassing things in the world. Like, imagine getting kicked out of Beetlejuice the musical for vaping in front of a pregnant woman and also giving your date a handy. <laughs> like, and she's like, also, we're not dating anymore. Yeah. It's like, just like, imagine going, okay, first of all, like, is this a first date idea? Going I think it was to a, a first Beetlejuice date. musical? Oh, I guess. It's just not a thing. Also, I like, the date. big talking point is that the guy she was on a date with, like, owns a bar that hosted a drag night. I'm like, Fine, but can we talk about like the fact that they were doing hand stuff like in a, <laughs> in a fucking public like, theater? That is what fourteen-year-olds do. That is and that's literally because, what fourteen-year-olds. Like, that's because they don't want to do hand stuff at their parents' house. Exactly. That's why they go to a theater. Do you to live do at it. your parents' house? And like, oh, watching her being interviewed by a fox. Oh, so embarrassing. Kooky too, was like hilarious. I mean, they're just like, oh, as a private citizen, it must be. I mean. Uh, it must oh be hard God. for this for this man, and you know, and you having your um, private life blasted. It's just like when do you, when have you ever given a shit about anybody's private life? Not that I'm saying also, anything like, unique here. They're like. N- not that, like, I'm like, oh, the Democrats are innocent people. Oh God, I but hate everyone. I hate everyone, but like, if a Democrat, if like was, fucking, if literally Joe Biden was giving. <laughs> Or getting a hand job. <laughs> if Jill was giving Joe Biden a hand job during <laughs> Beetlejuice the musical, I would be so, I'd be laughing like I still am. At but this not moment. even that. Like if fucking like <laughs> you maniac. Why if did you AOC, do that? if AOC was I on a date, I would still be. What is wrong with you? I'd be like, what is wrong with you? But like the Republicans would be having a fucking field day. They would be like launching an impeachment inquiry. Oh like they'd be losing their shit anyway. They would it's be Lauren losing Bobert. their shit. Yeah. Oh yeah. Obviously. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> i just can't um just like what makes you fucking i mean nothing nothing about beetlejuice made her horny first of all no she There's just nothing like, like that it's just she's in the well, dark she was drunk they were drunk oh my god yeah like it's just such a weird thing to do agreed 
But also the vaping thing was pretty funny. Um, so she was recently kicked out of a performance of Beetlejuice the Musical in so Denver. Sad. Um, she kept saying, "Well, if anybody knows how it ends, it's like I'm sorry. Have you not seen Beetlejuice? Let's call it a happy ending. <laughs> okay, yo. Um, That's she more. called it a difficult and humbling experience." That's like every hand job for me, honestly. <laughs> you know, a very dry hand job in a very cold theater. Difficult and humbling. Difficult and humbling. Um, Is she even giving a hand job or was she just like, I don't think I a, saw the act. It's more like a rope a doodle do. Okay. Because it's like, there was no way but that he would be able her, to stay hard in such a cold theater. Her date was definitely touching her boobies, though. Touching, touching her boobies, though. Touching her boobies. So she is the so weird. U.S. representative for Colorado's third congressional district. It's so Perfect random. She's woman. from Colorado. Is it? Okay. The town she's from is literally rifle Colorado. Wonderful. And before she was a congresswoman, she owned a uh, restaurant called Shooter's Grill, where <laughs> staff members were encouraged to carry fire and ar- firearms openly. She's literally so haunted. Anyway, so we could probably deeply, talk about her like woman. I'm going to political... put um, maybe a menu from Shooters in the Slime Room. Oh, yeah. Good idea. I would love to see what they have to offer. Really good idea. Do you think it still exists or? No. no maybe. Okay, that's too bad. Um, they own the restaurant so from to 2013 go. to 2022. I'd love so, to visit. So you could definitely find. You could definitely find a menu on Yelp. Ugh, I bet oh, I could find a beautiful Get appetizer. some Yelps in there. I'll get some Yelps. Oh, I'll get some Yelps. Oh, definitely get some Yelps. So we could definitely go through her like horrible political stances about <laughs> like hating Jews, hating gay people, um, hating everything, wanting to fuck guns, literally, literally so fucking. obsessed with guns. I'm so surprised she didn't have a gun in the theater. But maybe, maybe her boyfriend. She, no, maybe she not, did it have wasn't a even gun. her boyfriend. It was just her date. She might have had a gun. Like, who knows? If I'm out there stroking some man's hog, yeah, in a Beetlejuice musical, yeah, literally oh, put I'm me away. I'm carrying a gun, baby. <laughs> 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 Fucking sit on oh, men's definitely. faces and then walk away. Definitely. Um. So yeah, we could talk about all of her horrible political views, but like this lady has so many wacky little things that she's done. We need to. Um, get through them yeah we need to get through them and I don't really feel like talking about how she's a horrible person who like hates drag queens for no reason it's just like it's that really there are enough producer. people who hate drag queens for yeah. no reason at all yeah. except that I guess they're jealous that they're having such a good fucking time <laughs> I know like maybe have some lives. fun idiot have some fun I mean I guess this was her idea of fun but like literally You're right maybe she has too much fun <laughs> <laughs> Maybe never have fun again. Yeah, Lauren, you you're fun banned. And gross. Lauren Yogurt, you're banned from fun. Why would you? And like Beetlejuice the music. I gotta find this meme, um, meme about like it was like someone said Beetlejuice is just some guy. Oh God, I have to find it. I'll find it. Hold on, keep talking about it. Um, I could talk about Beetlejuice. I mean, there is a CCTV video of them being escorted out. So maybe we need to put that in Wilmer. That was, yeah. She gave like the finger to people who worked at the theater, which is honestly the only thing you should be doing when someone kicks you out of Beetlejuice the musical. Like um, if I'm ever even in the audience at Beetlejuice the musical, absolutely kill me. The thing is like she's such a Fox News anchor rising, but she's low key and this is mean, but that's fine. She's too ugly to be a Fox News anchor. A can just like fell in the distance when she said that. <laughs> I mean, is that donkey? Uh, we'll see. You know, the thing can't... is, there's a mugshot of her where she looks sort of hot. Oh dear! But it's from years ago. Okay. There's a oh, what was that for? I wonder. Um. I well, she's that. had multiple arrests. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to start with in 2010. She was arrested after a neighbor accused Bobert's two pit bulls of attacking her, like Bobert's. Okay, so. In September 2010, Bobert was arrested after a neighbor, Michelle Soet, accused Bobert's two pit bulls of attacking Soet's dog. Soet's dog narrowly escaped injury after jumping into a van. So then Lauren pleaded guilty to a single count of dog at large. Dog at large. So that's her first big count and paid a $75 fine. Wow. Okay. Dog at large. Dog at large, $75 fine. Are you still looking up this meme? Yeah, it's not worth it. Okay. Then, in 2015, she was detained at a music festival uh, for shouting at a group of people who were arrested for underage drinking. She was yelling that the arrest was unconstitutional because they had not received Miranda warnings. Oh, that's so nice of her. I know. She's standing up for these kids. Good looking out for the underage drinkers. Honestly, God bless 
this woman and everything that she does for young drinkers everywhere. <laughs> She's really a spokesperson for the young drinkers, and that's she what we really need is. in Congress. Honestly, if she deserves anyone, any any vote from anyone, it's oh, maybe she should be the person that's just like make the voting age sixteen. She should really she start that. A, she should, Lauren, if or, you're listening, or please fucking do that because you'll be out of Colorado's third in a heartbeat. She did not win by a lot either. I think that she's pretty upset by that. Oh, I hope so. I think she, it was like a very slim win. If I'm wrong, take it out. Okay. Um, deputies reported that she was encouraging people arrested for underage drinking to break free and repeatedly what? said that she had friends at Fox News who would report on her subsequent illegal arrest she was cited for misdemeanor disorderly conduct and failed to appear in court. Tw- failed to appear in court twice on the charge but the charge was later dismissed because the district attorney believed there was no reasonable likelihood of conviction even if the case went to trial and it's good well you know when you're right you're right i think this woman has a po- problem being in public i think so like it's you can't help weird. but scream She's really good at talking, though. It's weird. Mm. She has no shame, I think, that is... I mean, I don't know if it's a problem. The thing is, she's, like, like, only 36. That's wild. She's my age? Yeah. She's done a lot. She's your age. You know what? I feel like I've done nothing compared to her. She. I mean, she's had multiple arrests. She had a dog at large charge. It's like when you find that there are people that have been kicked out of the Beetlejuice musical and you have not. Yeah. Among other things. Yeah. Um, Like vaping in a pregnant woman's face or whatever. Yeah. It's just like, I could have done so much, but here I am not doing anything weird like that. Yeah. And just like kind of keeping my mouth shut. Um, I Next don't know. Next lifetime, you should definitely vape in a pregnant woman's face. Oh, yeah. You know? I'm going to be so anti-Semitic. Do things a little differently. <laughs> I'm like not even going to give a shit. Just kidding. I love everybody. Then in 2016, Bobert was cited for careless driving and operating an unsafe vehicle. Incredible. In 2017, she was arrested and booked for failure to appear in court on these charges. So I think that's what the mugshot I saw was from, 2017. We'll put that in Slimer, maybe. Yeah, well, we could definitely put her in mugshot in Slimer because there, she is no wealthy gorilla, by the way. That's too bad. Yeah. I don't think... I wonder what her... It was hard to find her net worth. Or... No, I, I mean, looked for it, and, and it was no sort of shade, like... no shade. Yeah, it on. doesn't matter. But, like, there were s- some reports was like, it's 45 million. And I was like, there's literally not a chance in hell. And then there was one that was like 12 million. I have no I idea. I think so. Yeah, I don't but know. But the thing is, like, if she were smart, which I don't think she is, she would quit politics and really become a news anchor because she could make a lot of money spewing some bullshit. Oh, my God. And she's really good at talking. She really is. Sounds Aren't like you love lot. Lauren. No, no, no. I just mean like she is a motor mouth. Like oh, she's yeah. just, she's just like really. Honestly, Lauren, start a podcast. <sighs> you, you'd make one better than us. She kind of, for some reason, I don't know why. Uh, what's, what's, what's her, what's that woman's name again? Who Marjorie everyone Taylor thinks Green. M- no. Oh. Bit of a her rising for sure though. Yeah. But the one that everyone thinks murdered her daughter. And then Casey Anthony. She kind of looks like Casey Anthony. She does have a. She's a Casey Anthony rising a energy for sure. Yeah. She has four kids and a grandkid. Because she would, her mom had her at eighteen, and she said that that encouraged her to have her first kid at eighteen. Um. So her, her and her uh, soon to be ex husband. Because she, they filed for divorce. Oh, divorced. Jason. Jason, uh, citing irreconcilable differences. Oh. Um. She, which are, uh, he didn't want to receive a hand job in the middle of a musical. So it's too bad because it's all I think about. That's grounds for divorce, if you ask me. So he's a bit of an abusy Susie mm. to Lauren. Mm. I believe it. I do too. So <clears throat> this is just about him. In 2004, he was arrested after allegedly exposing his penis to two women at a bowling alley. Okay, bro. Why? Um, Lauren, who was 17 at the time, no! was there. No. Um, just like, well, how does a bad story get worse? He pled guilty to public indecency and had four days in jail and two years probation. Then in January 2004, he was booked on a domestic violence charge against Lauren Boebert. He did unlawfully strike, shove, or kick her and subject her to physical contact. Jesus Christ. They were dating. Then, <sighs> that happened in February. Then in May, Lauren took her revenge during an altercation at his home in which she scratched his face and chest and trashed his residence. 
I mean, <laughs> listen. You, like, for once, okay, Lauren. Fine. Fine. Get away with it. I don't care. Yeah. Trash Honestly, his that residence. guy treated you like shit. I mean, he sounds like a fucking pervert. At the very least, trash He's a perverted, abusive Susie. So in this case, Lauren, I the say go nuts. The least could do. Yeah. Um, however, then she's sort of like, according to someone who testified um, in the January 6th hearing, mm-hmm. she was involved in the beginning stages of talks with senior White House officials um, that led to Trump saying that the 2020 election results weren't real or whatever, and that she apparently played a pretty big, big role in the January 6th stuff tweeting on the day of the attack today is 1776 um she's so dramatic <laughs> she's also really it says that she gave tours to a large group of people on january 5th sus tours of the capital of the capital yeah it's just okay that is really sus wow and she sent tweets that some categorized as relaying quote intel about house speaker nancy pelosi's location during the attack that's wild. I really weirdly believe that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, she's definitely in the cuckoo caucus of the Republican Party in oh, Congress caucus. with like Matt Gates, the pervert, and like Marjorie Taylor Greene, the Other Jewish space pervert. laser. Jewish space laser. <laughs> Brain pervert. Um, with your, I mean, oh God, what was the Jewish thing about? She, <laughs> um, Lauren said something to like a group of Jewish people, okay. something like, keep her away from the jewish people honestly Honestly, i'm scared like during the season of high holy days like can you keep her away (laughs) let us have one good year seriously um i'm seeing those signs around town that it's just like uh they're just like do you need a bodyguard at your church because synagogues do and you're just like what i don't know i keep seeing a lot of billboards yeah we're getting literally killed in our synagogue so i hate everything i just i don't want to i don't know don't even don't even like invite people like after the insurrection i guess she likes carrying her gun in the capitol building like lauren loves to have her gun on her um and i guess they installed new metal metal detectors at the capitol after january 6th and she like apparently threw a hissy fit about like not being able to carry her gun um but then there was like a uh, someone. Uh, there was something that was like you're allowed to have your gun in your office, but you're not allowed to have your gun like on the floor. No, uh, no. Yeah. <laughs> no. What, what difference does it make? I'm so horrified. Like, let's be honest. <sighs> if anyone is breaking into the Capitol, it Lauren's fucking... gonna be on their fucking side. <laughs> literally, honestly, literally. Why do you need a gun at work? You don't. You, you like don't. literally, no one's gonna kill you. Joe no, Biden, no I know you're listening. If you're not getting a handy from jail at, at a musical right now. Um, so I had to literally look up the word reconnaissance. Uh huh. <laughs> it just means surveillance. Okay, what you say? He asked Jews if they were doing surveillance at the Capitol, which oh, is pretty cool. Oh my God. You're <laughs> the one doing surveillance at the Capitol, Lauren. <laughs> and then she, like an idiot. So Biden, and this was, this was, I believe, this year. I'll find the article if anyone cares um, about Jews like we do. <laughs> yeah. We you know what? Jews. Out yourself. Do you not care about Jews? Do you not care about us? I mean, do you want fair us enough. to die? Um, anyway, President Biden released the country's first national strategy, yeah, right, for combating anti-Semitism, a landmark uh, by Jewish and anti-hate groups as progress toward addressing the increasing instances of violence and bias towards Jewish people in the United States. But what is that going to do? Exactly. But Lauren (laughs) saw the effort as an attack on those of her political persuasion. When they say stuff like this, they mean they want to go after the conservatives, she tweeted. You're so why literally are you just, just admitting that all conservatives are anti Semites. Are you nuts? Yeah, she is quite stupid. She's well, actually, I don't know. Maybe she's not stupid. Maybe she's the smartest person we've ever come across <laughs> in like literally <laughs> telling us and trying to out other anti Semites and being like, There are so many anti Semites in Congress and we're like, No, no, we fucking know that. Um, I mean hand job queen for sure. Beetlejuice like, is a Beetlejuice mistress. Beetlejuice she, Beetlejuice she, she just Beetlejuice. But like, you know, Ew. fuck. I wonder, you know what? Yeah, what? Her in the little Be- Beetlejuice outfit for Halloween would be very funny. That would be, she should be honestly, honest. that would be, the that would be so fucking funny. Um, Please, someone should be her as Beetlejuice, but I'm sure we're going to see a lot of those this year. Oh, yeah, we're going to see a lot of Lauren Boebert as Beetlejuice. And if we do, we thought of it. As soon as we see like a Democrat wearing that. It's not going to be it's funny It's not anymore. funny anymore. Yeah. 
Um, it's not funny. You think Joe Biden's dressing up for Halloween? Oh my god. <laughs> it's gonna be something so punny and stupid. Oh my god. I don't um, even care if he dressed up for Halloween. Yeah, it would be dumb. Someone anyway, the government's him. gonna be shut down probably. That's fine. It's, it's fine. They do inevitable. this every year. They're so dramatic it's with literally. it. It's just like, they're like, I'm oh, sorry. the debt ceiling. And I'm like, then fucking change the rules. Like, hey, make more money. I don't know. I, I can't fix this shit. Why I are you know, asking just like, me? Make a fucking decision. What, you expect me to go to work, but you don't have to? They literally shut shit? down the government every year year and every year they act like it's like the biggest deal in the world i'm like well guess the fuck maybe in a smaller city it probably is because it probably well, also means in dc it means like no one has a job that really fucking sucks which sucks and like i am sorry for the people who work in the government and have i guess to it's kind of early this year but they always love you and they're just like it's a when the government is being shut down again every single year but it happens you can't act like it doesn't happen every year but then the you know certain bathrooms aren't open and like people can't get in buildings because they don't have anyone to work those buildings because you'd be surprised just how many yeah. people are involved in the old gov? The old gov. She's the big. Old gov of love. She's a big. She's a big gov. You know what? Send us all home. Agreed. Please. Um, so, do you have anything else to add on Lauren Bober? I mean, she's obviously her like one of our. Fucking name rhymes with yogurt. I her mean, fucking name sorry. rhymes with yogurt. She's definitely one of the worst congresswomen we've got. Could not remember her name. Definitely just googled, searched her originally as Lauren Beetlejuice. <laughs> so <laughs> she's honestly. That's Loki, her name. I did everything right and oh, they indicted and she me. She loves Trump. I mean, that goes without question. That goes without question. Just marry each other. How about that? Be the worst couple in the world. You, they have the opportunity to be the grossest, worst couple in the world. Ew. Trump getting a fucking hand job at, I don't know, what's Ew. it? At the Legally Blonde musical? Oh. Something else? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow I... some other fucking terrible adaption did you they do a movie harry we potter see together musical? mean girls the musical oh do you care about you love musicals but you don't sure. care about mean girls eh. i mean when it came out originally i thought it was like he 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 it's a he he i've, I've seen it a I few mean, times there in are life. some yikes of doodles now, in it i'm sure it's a little yikes of doodles nowadays but it's not it it holds up relatively well, except for the anti Asian stuff, yeah, which is like yeah. classic Tina Fey. Honestly, honestly, it's a bit of Tina Fey. It's a bit Tina Fey, but um, other than that, it holds up. I think. Yeah, there are a lot of hee 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 moments. Um, yeah, I think we all we know the tropes. We know the we know the tropes. The classic racism. We know the classic. Uh, you know, there are some good lines. Some good lines. But some terrible ones, too. Yeah, absolutely. Um, but overall, I liked the movie. Anyway, I'll see the musical and give you a hand job in it. Okay. That's um, all I can ask for. Let's just go see it. And then Legally Blonde, the musical. Um, what's the big song from there? Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You oh guys. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Not a bad song. That's me when I get a hand job. Oh, me too. Yeah, like, oh, oh, my God, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You guys. Looks like Zoe's gonna get the prize. Woo! <laughs> oh. Oh. It's a hand job in the audience of the play. Play the Pantages Theater. <laughs> okay. Well, Zoe Let's... getting a hand job in the plant, plant, blah, 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 Pantages Theater? Yep. Perfect weekend for her. Perfect. So let's shut the door on Lo and Yo- Lauren Yogurt. Oh, man. Yogurt, go to hell. <laughs> shut the door, baby. Don't say a word. I just don't I... think they've met. I just don't think she's met Mark McGrath. I I mean, honestly. If they did, it was at January 6th. <laughs> I feel like they would be a weird couple, though. Like, if, if you were single and, you know, on the same Tinder, they would have met by now. If they were on the same Tinder, He would have absolutely met. been on the receiving end of a handjob in Beetlejuice. A hundo, oh, a hundo one million. They haven't met, but he would get a handjob in Beetlejuice. Exactly. And that's all I'm going to say about that. And that's that. what connects them as people. Delicious. So who's your good boy this week? Let's see. Definitely wrote it down. My mom's obviously texting about fall. Classic mom. Perfect. Oh, my God. Lenny Kravitz. Ooh, Did you see that's the? A, that's a dual ba- good boy, I think. Yeah, it's a good boy. Lenny Kravitz announced fall in the most Lenny Kravitz way. It was scarf With his enormous related. Enormous scarf. We'll put it in Wilmer. Yeah, sure. He's beautiful. We yeah, love him. We oh, do. God. Would you? Would you fuck Lenny? Some face. So I just mean, just like talk about a Jewish <laughs> legend. <laughs> You're right. Um, he is. Yeah, I would fuck Lenny Kravitz. Imagine you were related to him. Sorry. I mean. Why would you say that right after I said I would fuck him? Jewish legend. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean. That's a family I don't give a damn. That's a family I don't give a damn. Like, if you wouldn't, f- I don't care what 
gender you are, how you identify your sexuality. If you're fucking Lenny Kravitz, if <laughs> you're, you're fucking Lenny Kravitz, I mean, you gotta fuck Lenny Kravitz. Oh, Diane would absolutely fuck Lenny Kravitz. Would you fuck she... Lenny Kravitz? Yes. Obviously. We're all Diane fucking be... Lenny Kravitz. <laughs> We're all fucking Den- <laughs> Denny Lavitz. Denny Lavitz, <laughs> different Jew. Different Jew, <laughs> not fucking that guy. Not fucking that guy. His Lenny... breath definitely smells like onions. Oh, it's a bit of a gefilte fish. Oh. Um, Lenny it's Kravitz, you're invited to my Pesach. Oh, God. You're so... I'm... And he's there he's there he's Oof. he's he brought something yeah he's first one there he's helping in the kitchen he brought um what are those he brought, brought macaroons oh god what a good person what a good guy um okay but who's your good boy oh right i literally forgot i just started talking shit um okay my ac actually told me when there was something wrong with it i think <gasps> we had a moment i was like what's wrong girl it kept turning <laughs> off and it was just because it was it was filled with water it needed to be oh. drained uh, it needed a drain early Oh, know, okay. It's kind of an early drain. Happens, so. the, happens the best of us. So I just wanted to compliment Definitely happened her. to Lauren Bobert's date. Oh, yeah. She, she, needed, she, she he really, needed a drain. Do you think he really completed, though? No. I don't know. I, I don't think I could under those conditions. There's so much going on. <laughs> There's so she's much going on. in my mouth. I also, like, it doesn't sound like it was a full-blown handy. It sounds like it was more of like a over-the-pants sort of rub-a-dub-dub. So it's just like... If he came from that, I mean, God bless him. When I heard, like, I am keep making the same face even every time I think about it because it's just so grotesque. Like... Handy in the theater, cold, light show. Yeah, fucking Beetlejuice. It's not like even a horny story. You. His voice is scary. That being said, if it was me and Lenny Kravitz in that theater, oh, different listen, story. He would have came immediately. Oh, well, that's nice of you to say. <laughs> um, You're welcome. I don't think I'm that talented at the groping. No, I don't know. About or that. in any sort of. Don't sell yourself short. <laughs> You're right. You're right. My good boy. Yeah. For my birthday, mm-hmm. my mommy got me a juicer. Oh my god. And Have I've only made out? one juice. Okay. But it was delish. Okay. It was kale and pineapple. Oh, so it wasn't that creepy one that we found? Or you found? No, the, baby's the arm of gobble ginger? gobble. Um, no, but I, I bought all the ingredients for the gobble gobble and I might make it when I go home. Oh. And if I'll definitely make it by the time this episode comes out and we can put a picture in Wilmer. You know what it is good? Oh, okay. Good. And you know what it is good for is that like, you know that, you ever had that Lassen's tonic when you're sick? Oh, sure. And it's like do ginger, like the, lemon, and yeah, cayenne the, pepper. The four or the three or the four fucking, it's good for that. Cause like, yeah. when are you ever going to juice it? The thing is, you add like literally the most kale you've ever seen in your life, and it makes oh, like a tablespoon of juice. It's so true. But I got some juicier items at the grocery store. Like I got cucumber, mm. which I feel like are so juicy, very juicy, and carrots. My stomach just growled Delicious. thinking about juice. I know what? you love juice. Uh, carrots, which are pretty juicy. Apples, oh, which I are love pretty juicy. Juice. So like, I feel like I got some juicy little items. And we'll see what happens. And I'll add a baby's arm of ginger. Apples are really juicy. They're juicy. They really do. And they're really simple to add like sweetness. Okay. And okay, Emerald Lagasse. Um, yeah, that's why that gobble gobble recipe was like, okay, I can fuck with this. I mean, you can, but I'm like, why do they have to call it that? They didn't. Perverts. I have one more good boy, actually. Okay. The, okay, so on my way out to Toronto, Yeah. I had the person in a row mm. just like went to another row. And we were like, oh, okay, bye. So we uh, free we middle, a, free middle. We had a, <gasps> well, we had a free aisle because they made him take the middle. Um, well, I mean, he took it on his own. He, yeah, listen, sure. Great if you guy. want to sit beside me, you're gonna have to sit beside me in the yeah, fucking middle. Fine. I'm taking the window. But then he got the aisle in the end of, at the end of the day. Yes, he did actually. And well, it, when you really think about it, yeah, we both got an aisle. We got an extra seat, and I didn't have to walk over anyone, and I didn't feel bad at all walking over him 16 times to use the bathroom. How many times do you really pee? Like on max a two. Oh, okay. Like max two, and sometimes I'll really hold the last one and just be like, I can do it. I did for the last one, and then I actually kicked myself because I almost died. Yeah. Um, and I gave a woman a really bitchy look, so. In the sorry. Oh, it was after that? Yeah. Um. Yeah, it was. Wow. But and also wait, on, the have, way on the home, way back, you had a free middle. I did too. Yeah. Amazing. And me and my seatmate could share the middle seat. Oh, perfect. I bet it was so romantic. Uh, it was not perfect. Um, I don't really have any other good boys. I guess just the juice. It's um, always perfect juice. It's always perfect juice. And my birthday. Mm. Your br- your present's coming soon. Mid. Mid birthday. I'm Mid. excited for my present. Oh. Mid birthday overall. Mid. Mid. I mean, I feel like every birthday after 30 is just like, this is fine. Here it comes. Here it goes. That's my impression of a birthday after 30. Here it comes. It's, you know what? If my makeup comes off before I get into bed, it's been a good day. Oh, okay. It's been a good day. 
Okay. <laughs> if I have enough time for everything in my day, I consider it a good day. Good day. Um. All right. Well, I mean, I guess we don't really have... Did you want to talk about that YouTube? Oh, my God. That was my... Oh, yeah. I've been watching the Hummingbird channel. I love the Hummingbird channel. I'll put it in the summer. It's just hummingbirds all day. This woman... Um. Oh, there's one right there. It's drinking. Yep. But, like, I don't... She is, like, three... Um, is it like a live feeders. stream? It is. And in like one of the, because she has them in a few continents and because she, her goal, I'm like interrupting myself a thousand times. Her goal is to photograph every single hummingbird on earth. Okay, like every lady. species. Oh, okay. Not every, <laughs> that'd be impossible. <laughs> that'd be hilarious. I'm like, um, good okay, luck, Okay, whatever. <laughs> whatever, nut. Um, but no, she just, she's a real hummer. Yeah. So the ones in, I think she's in Sherman Oaks here, I forget. Um, the ones here... I mean, every day there's like a bunch of them on them at once. In my feeder, there's only one at once. Well, it's so territorial in my, in our place. Like you should put up a second feeder. There's one over there, but you can't see that. I know, but like I will. But like <laughs> maybe that's oh, you think so? That like if I put up a second feeder, they'll feel more like there's plenty of food there or something. Maybe. Hmm. Interesting. Um. Because like. They like zoom around. There's like eight or nine that come around. And then the one that's, I forget if it's in Costa Rica or if it's in whatever, but it has bats at night. Oh. And they don't really drink much, but they're all just like. Sure. They'll pop in. Um, It's cute. Hummingbirds. Oh, no. this That reminds me. My, when I was with my niece and nephew over the summer, I mean, they're like two and Adorable. four. Um, we love children on this pod, don't we? I guess so. They really fun. are into this like. It's basically just like underwater footage of turtles and sharks. Um, it's like pretty, but also not that pretty. And it just has like music playing and it's oh. just sharks and turtles. Yeah, the music's never your choice. Never but, great, like, but it kind of reminds me of that. Like, like I feel like a, music. a, ch- da, 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 like a two-year-old da, da, da. would probably love the Hummingbird channel. Um, it's a little more high energy than that, I would say. But yeah, maybe. Oh, would. does she talk? No, no, no. I mean, it's just, it's... It's like watching birds. It's not the same, yeah. but they're hummingbirds. So, I mean, when they're still, they're way more peaceful looking. But, like, I mean, you know, they zoom in and out and they yeah. just, like, hang for a while. But, they're like, like mm. yeah, exactly. You can hear it? Mm, kind of. Not really, though. But, like, it's, yeah. Their wings, they flap. They really do. But, like, when they're sitting, you're just like, are you even flapping right now? They are, aren't they? Are you fucking flapping or not? <laughs> then, bitch, you better I be flapping. You, like, I mean, I feel like another one's coming in. Zoop, zoop, zoop. And, like, look, it sits. Are you sitting? You can see it kind of tut tut tutting its butt I, over there. I literally don't see it at all. Okay, well, I'm nuts. Yeah, it's you're like nuts. camouflaged. We get a lot of those like darker green and ones, mm. like greeny gray ones. Yeah, I, know, I mean, we just have the fucking parrots, and they're so goddamn loud. I'll try I to get a, them. I'll try to get a video of the really loud parrots. We have the same ones, the green ones. Yeah, the green ones. They're so fun. They're thriving here though, because I mean, invaded. the story goes apparently they were quite. Um, what's the word? Endangered in Mexico. Yeah, but they're doing fine here. They're really thriving. They're so fucking loud. They love it here. They're so fucking <laughs> loud. Reminds me of when I had a guinea pig growing up, and every really? time I would walk up the stairs, it'd be like, <laughs> it's like that, but it's parrots, hilarious. and there's like eighty of them. I mean, they sound like they're laughing at you, which is the funny part. Wow, yeah. that one's just sitting there, waiting, having a good day. Maybe I it's waiting don't for its it date. Hmm. I don't know how to describe it to you, but it is so camouflaged right now. Oh, is it on top of the thing? It's just like in the tree. Yeah, I don't see it. Yeah. I Um, just saw it land. But but I believe you. All right. Well, email Diane at badboypod.com. Your hummingbird. Yeah. Um, Your your bad boys on the block. Your good boys. Leave us a five-star review on Apple Podcasts if you nasty. If you want to give us a handy, whatever. Um, (laughs) Shop that badboypod.com for a t-shirt. Follow us at bad boy podcast again Women, will you please for like a me? solid groping just oh, kidding no. um and then also yeah there's probably another thing but i forget uh, did i say follow us at bad boy podcast e- email diane your fucking recipes oh okay why not why not send us your favorite goddamn recipe send us your favorite goddamn recipe send us your favorite goddamn why is a siren like there's that? really a siren so we got to go investigate the siren and um also oh and if you want to buy the house across the street still for sale still for sale uh, so never forget that. And that's it. Okay. Have a perfect week. Brought to you by Lady Parts. <laughs>